This is an overview of the HVAC Smart Relay Switch, or HSRS. This product shuts off your HVAC system when a door or window remains open for a predetermined period of time. The product is available in two variations, wired and wireless. This row of items is the wired system, which includes power converter, which converts 24 volts AC from the air handler into 12 volts DC to power the control unit. And we also have a set of door switches. Actually, this is one set. The combo package includes two sets. Additional sets are available as desired. But the control unit, we can open this by separating the lid. And what you have is the control board with a number of internal controls. And uh, the first set of controls I want to point out is the dip switches. And these are what allow you to configure the behavior of the controller. So for instance, if you'll notice, switches two and three on uh, the first bank of switches, known as DSW1, these two switches are on. And what that does is configures a two minute pre shutoff delay. Now you can configure that delay for most anything you like from zero to 10 hours. But in this case, when switches two and three are on and they are the only switches on, you get a two minute pre shutoff delay. So that means uh, the door has to be open or window has to be open for two minutes and then the system shuts off. Now the second bank of switches DSW2 allows you to configure an optional delay for restoring operation. So what would happen is, let's say your door was open for a period of time, the system shuts off, uh, the person closes the door, and then this set of switches would allow a, an additional delay before the system restores normal operation. But again, that is optional. Here you have relay, which does the switching. And then you have the terminal block, wiring terminal block, which is where the wiring would be performed. Now, in most instances uh, for doing the shutoff, you would use terminals 12 and 13, which represent common and normally closed. Those are the two wiring terminals that you would use for most applications. Here you have your LED indicators. You have four red indicators. Each one of those represents a, an input for your wired sense, wired switches. So you could have up to four wired switch inputs here. Um, you can actually have as many wired switches as you like if you employ simple serial daisy chaining. And then you have the green indicator, which is merely a status indication that in uh, normal operation this indicator will flash on and off at a periodic rate and that just lets you know that the controller is operational now for the wireless system you have the power converter which is actually identical to the one that we discussed for the wired package and you have a wireless door window sensor, which uses two AAA batteries. Now I happen to have one here that's open. You can take a look at that and you'll see that uh, it's fairly simple. Not a lot going on here, but you see where the batteries insert. And you also notice there is no configuration dip switch. In other words, this unit self assigns its own RF address and that is captured by the controller at registration. Registration is the pairing process, which allows the controller to accept uh, the door sensor or sensors that you will be using. And speaking of the controller, this unit is secured by four screws, which keeps the lid intact. I've already removed them. So then it's a matter of separating the lid and then you see the internals are pretty much the same as for the wired system. 
with just a couple of differences. One of them being the antenna connector. You see the configuration dip switches, the relay, and the wiring terminals, which are accessible from the back. And you'll see that the indicators are viewable from the front. Unlike the wired system, which uh, these indicators would not be viewable from outside the package. And in addition to that, when you when you purchase the wired the wireless system, you also get the coax cabling. the antenna bracket, and the antenna itself. And that, that concludes the overview of the HSRS system. For additional details, feel free to visit the website www.cadtronics.com.